When given an initial point and the reflected point, you can identify how they changed and therefore how it was reflected. If it was reflected over the x-axis, y-axis, y equals x, or y equals negative x. So when we compare our initial point here on the left to the point on the right, what do we see? Well, it was three, and now our three is in the y coordinate spot. So our x coordinate became our y coordinate. Now look at negative four. It was our y coordinate, and now it's our x coordinate. So our x, y became y, x. They just switched spots. So this is a reflection over the y equals x line. How about this one? What do we see? Well, I noticed the y coordinate stayed the same. It's negative four, negative four. But my x coordinate was positive and now it's negative. So my x, y changed in that my x coordinate was positive, now it's negative. So it's the opposite sign of my x coordinate. But my y coordinate stayed the same, stayed as y. So if we look at the rules here, we see that this point was reflected over the y axis. How about this one? I noticed the three that was in my x spot is now in my y spot. And notice it was positive and now it's negative. And the same with the y coordinate. The y coordinate is now in the x coordinate spot, but it was negative and now it's positive. So my x, y coordinate, they switched spots and they also became the opposite sign. So I see that what happened is it was reflected over the line y equals negative x. One more, what is the line of reflection? Notice that my x coordinate stayed the same, but my y coordinate was negative and now it's positive. So x, y became, my x coordinate stayed the same, but the y coordinate is now the opposite sign. So which one is that? That is a reflection over the x axis.